Hi, my name is Karthik from Design School WP Algorithm. And in this video, I want to show you how you can style Elementor Pro forms using pure CSS. Of course, you can do style your Elementor for Elementor Pro forms using theme styles, but we'll see what pure CSS can do that Elementor Pro theme styles cannot do or Elementor theme styles can't do. So let's get into it. So here I have a sample form with text field, an email field, a message field, a select, which is a drop down menu, and I have a checkbox, and then I have a number field, it doesn't matter. So I have these sample fields set up. I've also disabled theme styles so that I can style each and every field the way I want. So let's get started. I'll just click on the widget button. Let's start by giving the form a name. So I'm calling it my hyphen form. You can give it any name you want. I'll call it my hyphen form. Now under custom CSS dot, since it's a class name, you have to paste the class name. Let's start with the width of the form. I don't really like the width of the form, but there are a lot of other ways in which you can adjust the width of the form. So you can click on the section and you can click on content width and change it to boxed and adjust the width. So that way you can make your form look more compact. Or if you select full width, you can also do it using custom CSS. So I'll, again, I'll click on the form widget, go to advanced under custom CSS. I can simply type in width property and let's give it a responsive width. If that doesn't work, something like that. So VW is relative to the viewport or the window that's active, live viewable by the user. So this whole browser window, this whole width, 30% of that is basically 30 VW. You can do width like this. Or you can say something like 300 pixels. If you want an absolute width, even that is possible or maybe 500 pixels. You can totally control the look of your form. You can also add a margin left, maybe a hundred pixels. Anyway, you can just style it the way you want. You can also, these margin controls are available within the widget itself. So you don't really have to enter CSS, but again, I'm just showing you that these are also possible using custom CSS. Now, another way to basically resize your form is to use a custom positioning widget. So under positioning, if you click on that, under advanced tab, go to positioning and you can change the width even from here. So if you change it to custom, you can basically give any width that you need. Now, if I remove the CSS, this is how it's gonna look like. I'll put the CSS back. So that's how we can do some basic styling for our form. Now let's get to the fields. Let's see how we can style each and every individual field that we want. Now, the forms class is my form or dot my hyphen form dot stands for class name and my form is the class that we are targeting. So within that, I want to target the name field, which happens to be a text field. Now, if I minimize this side panel, right click and inspect. You can see basically it's an input field of type text. You can see that here, right? Similarly, a number field is basically an input field of type number. So if I hover over and click on this, you can see that this is an input field of type number. Most of the form fields are input fields, except the select menu, which is a select kind of field. So if you click on it, you can see it's a select field and they're doing some custom CSS with the checkbox. So you can see it's input of type checkbox right so you can basically target a form field by saying input type equals that whatever type it is so if i want to let's say target the text field within my form i'm targeting type equals text let's change the border And just like that, I targeted the text field and changed its border.
just like that or you can also target a field using its active focus states so if i say focus here colon focus don't worry i'll leave this code in the description whenever the text field comes into focus or whenever you click on the text field or hit tab to reach the text field this code whatever code you put in will be targeted or whatever code that you want will be applied to that you can also add a background so let's say i'll add a purple background maybe we have to use the important tag so when i hit focus the background turns purple or whatever color you want you can put that or if you want it for the normal field you can do this you can also change the text color by saying color property and i can say white see that so that's really neat you can totally change the any property of the text field don't worry i'll leave this code in the description so that you can play with the code of course you have to name the form whatever you want and you have to replace my hyphen form with that name in case you're changing or giving any other name anyway so how do you target email fields in a way similar to text field except that instead of type equals text you just say type equals email so it will just target the email field i can remove the border and i can change to blue or whatever color you want or maybe i can just do that when it's in focus boom just like that so that's one way and how do you target the select field well it's simple you just say my form or the class name of the form after the dot and then you say select and I uh, know maybe I change the background just like that we change the background of the select field let's also change the color Just like that we change the background and also the color really neat right and and not just targeting the fields like this but you can also target the valid state of a field i'll show you what that means so when i target input type equals email field I can also apply some properties when the field is validated. Validation is usually done by your browser or if your plugin puts in some JavaScript into it, even that will help in validating the field. Basically, when you enter a valid email address, I'll put this code. I'll just change this focus to valid here. I'll remove the code. So whenever the email field gets validated, or whenever we enter a valid email address, these properties will be applied to the email field. That's what this code means, right? So I'll just click on preview changes. Note when I type text, I don't see any changes. As soon as I enter a proper valid email address, you can see the properties being applied. See, that's what valid means. Again, validation is done either by your browser or because of the JavaScript from Elementor Pro plugin itself. So if I say something, now this is a valid email address. If I just keep on entering text, that doesn't become a valid email address. Even this becomes a valid email address according to some logic. You cannot, if you want to validate the email address or do, you have to put in your own JavaScript, but we're just concerned with the CSS and how to style it. So that's how you do validation. Now the same thing is also true for invalid. So when email field is invalid, you can do this or instead of background, which is totally aggressive, we can simply do border. So that way user will know that this field is not validated properly. 
so i'm going to say one pixel solid red in case the email field is not properly entered right i'll update so this is the code and since i didn't enter anything it's still an invalid email address let's try to enter some see that totally impossible right i'll remove this color right from here so the red border disappears because it's a valid email address now this is an invalid email address and the properties that we specified within the invalid form are then being applied you can see that here right we just said border one pixel solid red when this whole field becomes invalid or whenever the user doesn't enter proper data that matches with this field the now the number field you cannot do any validation on the number field because it only accepts number so cannot do pretty much anything with this you can also target labels you can right click and inspect the label and the class is elementary field label so within the select field we want to target this label right you can see there are also few hidden inputs or hidden fields that are automatically sent when the form is sent and this is how you get all this data read into your elementor entry right whenever you get all the entries or whenever you use the short code form colon all fields the tag you get all these things because elementor behind the scenes is sending all the things in the form of hidden inputs you can also make input read only you can also target read only inputs but there's no real way to make an input read only in elementor you have to use custom css or something like that but there's no real way to make it read only in here for some reason right maybe you can use a read only field to show him some information that he cannot change which is dynamically obtained maybe using acf or something but read only fields are not available in elementor so you cannot do pretty much anything about it finally i want to target individual label of each of the field so let's say i just want to target the message label i'll minimize this i just have to inspect and see how to reach so it's basically within this class called elementary field type text area or right so within that this is the class so i'll copy the first class name for after the form dot class name followed by the field name or the fields class name which is elementary field label i'll copy again dot paste that and just like that these properties are applied to the label i'll remove width and margin from here so basically we are saying within my elementary form within this field or within this div called elementary field type text area i'm targeting the field or the label with a class name of elementary field label that's what we are doing it similarly for other fields you have to find the exact way or the address or the exact class tree and use the similar structure to target other labels let's change the color to red just like that the label's color is changed you can see it only targets this field which is the message label you can also change the font family or font size maybe i can have 12 pixels font size just for this label i can also change font family and do whatever i want pretty neat right so these are some tips and tricks to target your elementor pro form fields using pure css and of course the valid and invalid things are really cool you can try them out in case you want to add your own sort of style for your validation and invalid 
inputs, you can do this. This is a brief overview of how you can do. There is definitely more that you can do with custom CSS for Elementor Pro forms and add some little JavaScript and you can do amazing forms. But we'll limit ourselves to this much. I'll share this code in the description. That's it for now. I'll catch you in another video. Until then, see you. Subscribe if you don't already. And if you don't have Elementor Pro itself, you can get it from the link in the description. See ya.